Hi guys! Yep, it's me. It's Ann. I'm back. It happens. Anyway, what I'm going to be doing this time, on top of telling people what I'm grateful for, is I'm going to be doing a collaboration. Now, this is a fairly large crew for the collaboration. Um, there are several of us who have gotten together and decided we needed to do a little bit of Thanksgiving glam. Now, part of the collaboration is using brown neutrals and sticking some glam into it anyway, even though it's fairly neutral and pretty quiet, actually. Well, at least with the stuff I'm using. Um, this was an idea that Anya Stamper, Pink Sweets, came up with, and she collected a bunch of us together. So there's me and Allison Krause and Denise Gerstenberger and Leanne Sereo and Valerie from Give Me Lippin' More. And I'll have all of that down in the description box with all of their links and everything. You need to check out everybody. And we will see what we can do. Now, I've already put on my foundation. And I've got my eyebrows done because we all know that I'm kind of slow at all this. So, I was trying to cut down how long it was going to take to get through putting on this makeup. Now, since I've got my foundation on, I'm going to use a little eye shield. Yes, it covers a lot, but it gives me just a small part that I have to do any repair work on. Mostly putting the powder back because I've powdered my foundation. And this is just to keep the fallout from getting too rambunctious. Now, the palette that I'm working with, the main palette I'm working with, is this cute little thing. This is a Sephora palette. However, it's one of the Sephora minis. And this one is in the shade Cookie Dough. Even though... Well, there's a lot of shades, but this is the Cookie Dough Palette. And we've got Vanilla, Biscuit, Peanut, Caramel, Cocoa, and Popcorn. I don't know why we have popcorn in cookies, but we've got popcorn in cookies. Anyway, I'm not sure that was all in, in line or anything, so... Vanilla, Biscuit, Peanut, Caramel, Cocoa, and then that popcorn shade. Now, we've got Matte, 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 Foil, Foil, Glitter. Well, kind of a glitter. These two are closer to foils. This one's mostly just sparkly. Anyway, we are going to see what we can come up with for a look for Thanksgiving that's not only fairly neutral, nice and brown, simple stuff, but it's got just a pop to it to go with a little bit of glamour just because we ought to have some glamour. Now, I've got my mirror set up just below the camera, so we'll hopefully see if this works. At least I'm not putting the silver mirror up in your face this time, right? Right. Okay, I'm starting off with the vanilla just to start the eye off with something to set down with. Do 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 
don't worry the brush is stained yes but it's a clean brush Just put the vanilla everywhere. Everywhere. All right, I'll stop singing. Now, for the most part, this is going to be pretty much your average showing of doing. So I'm going to pick up the next darker color, which is the biscuit, and start working on the crease area just a bit. Do my little bit of a cat ear here. Now what I like about this is it's pretty well pigmented so yeah you get a lot of payoff with this particular palette this is one of the first palettes that I've ever had that's got any quote-unquote higher-end shadows in it all right I can tell why people like higher end shadows when I'm playing with this but I can't afford them normally I got this on one of the sales and it's only 10 bucks so yeah when I took my little percentage off it was only nine bucks so hey <laughs> trying to make do on Social Security is not the easiest way to do makeup. You get a lot of inexpensive makeup. A lot. Because that's what your wallet can handle. Believe me, there are days when I see some of the fancy palettes when I'm on Instagram and whatever and I see them and I'm going oh that's so pretty that's so out of range yeah I uh, yeah <laughs> I don't get to go off and do I sometimes will watch haul videos and sometimes I just get so mad <laughs> Yes, I know. Jealousy is not good for you. But, sometimes I just get so mad, I turn off haul videos and go look. It's like I said at one point, I'm very grateful when somebody calls something a drugstore version of makeup, and it actually, for real, is at a drugstore where, you know, I can get to it. The closest Ulta to me is a two-hour drive. Sephora's a, a two and a 15. Um, closest Marshall's is near that Ulta. Okay. Knock some of that off of there. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of cocoa. Now, it's got a little shimmer to it, but just a little. It's almost like you look at the caramel and the popcorn on either side of it, and you're going, is that crossover, or does it? It's got a little shimmer. Anyway, I'm going to darken up that outer corner just a little bit, drag it into the into the crease create my other little cat ear here just a little bit lower than the first one da, 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 da. i know i need to stop singing at you anyway okay 
that looks about even. <laughs> now, let's see what I can do about doing a little bit more flare. on the lower part of the lid. Now, I've used this palette a couple of times and I already know that with this one you want to spray your brush a bit because the sparklies tend to otherwise just kind of pill up. Do -do -do. And I really would like to have this come out shiny as opposed to crumbly and pilled up. Okay, and this is Peanut. It's the paler of my two heavy shimmers in here. but it's still not seriously pale. this up just a little bit because remember I've got hooded eyes and with the hooded eyes you don't always get to see all the work on the lids unless you carry it up a bit higher than what some people would think is a good idea and it's like you know want to come over and fix my eyes dude you can fuss about what's a good idea and what's not now this is not going to be a lot of glitter not a lot of glitter at all, at least on this portion. So far, the darker color that I'm going to put on the outer part of the lid has a bit more of a spark to it but I'm still going to be doing the wet brush routine. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, it's a little fluffy, but hey. And I'm going to dip this nice wet brush into the caramel. just a little more 
and I'm going to run it through this lovely color called popcorn I'm going to pop that bit of popcorn right into the center here to lighten this whole thing up just a little bit. Give the center of the eye a little more pop. Yeah, I know, that just sounds too corny, doesn't it? All right, I'll leave the popcorn alone now. All right, one too many bad jokes, sorry. So that we've got that nice bright spot going through the center of the eye. I don't normally do things like halo eye and that kind of stuff because I, I just haven't ever gotten the knack of really doing it considering my eyes are so crepey. It's kind of hard to do some of the cut crease stuff. Alrighty. Roar. Ta -da 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 -da. I got a new brand of the eye shields. I'm not sure I like these. They're a little bit stickier than I would prefer. Take my powder brush and repair that bit just a little. See the other eye shields that I normally get it's it's not much more sticky than than a post-it note this was closer to 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 masking tape which is not necessarily a good thing okay now no, I haven't done the brow yet because I'm going to use the same um, highlighter on the eyes that I use on my cheeks. shape, a little color, a little spark. Yeah, I think we're doing all right so far. Now, wow. <laughs> I'm going to sneak off of here shortly and I'm going to finish putting my face on. That way we won't have like hours and hours and hours of this stuff. And I will be back in just a little bit. Alrighty, I'm back, draped a few glitters on, put my lipstick on, finished up the eye look. Now this eye look was done with that little palette and a little help from something that came in when I ordered that palette because they had one of the leftover play boxes sitting in the in the queue as well and in that was the little one of the little Stila glitters and I put a little bit of the glitter over where I put the popcorn in the center and the lipstick is according to the container and if you look at it in the container it says it's brown that's all it says it says it's brown the name of the color brown 
Now this is a clean color in the their femme line of lipstick and it's just called brown. Over that I put some basic lip gloss that's just kind of a pearly white with some gold glitter in it just to give it a little extra shine. This is my brown look with a little dash of glam. I would not be ashamed to go anywhere to anybody's Thanksgiving dinner with this look on. I'd probably change the shirt though. Just a plain white shirt is not cutting it for me. Anyway, make sure you go check out everybody else's entry into this collab. All their names and links will be in the description box. I want to thank Anya Stamper for coming up with this bright idea and inviting me in. There's another thing I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for being invited in. Let us know what you think. Subscribe to some of the other people if you haven't already. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you do, please ring the bell so that you will get a notification whenever I upload anything else. If you liked what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. That makes me a very happy little old lady. And I hope you come back to see some more because I'm planning to do some interesting stuff for Christmas too. There will be more of the Grateful series coming up. Uh, that will go through the end of November and then I will start my Christmas series and hopefully there will be a few more collabs in the middle of that. I hope you guys are having a good time. I hope you're having a good day or evening wherever you are. Thanks for joining me. Be good.